This is the second part of the stair video. Um, I took this last tread and made it unique. Now we're going to illustrate the uh, power of using dynamic components um, where you can assign properties uh, to, the, to the component. So we go to window and we uh, open the component attributes window. Here, notice that it put the, the pound one after the tread because it understands it to be unique, so it renamed it. I'm going to double click this to rename it landing so there's no confusion. So now we have this unique uh, component that's uh, landing, and I'm going to add attributes to it, namely its length in the x direction, its length in the y direction, and its length in the z direction, which is it, the height. Don't confuse len x with position x. They're two different things, right? This is the uh, uh, Cartesian coordinate uh, location of whatever. Um, so here I can simply click add all to add all three of these um, attributes and you can see that it inherits the attributes it have it has right now naturally it's 48 inches long it's 11 inches in depth and it's seven inches high so I want the, the um, we're going to create a scissor back stair so the length of the landing has to be at least double this uh, to be certain, let's just make it 10 feet, which is uh, 120 inches. Let us make the length, uh, which in this case would be in the y direction, is going to be the depth of that landing, has to be at least as uh, deep as the stair is wide. So it has to be a minimum of 48 inches, and we will make it exactly that for simplicity's sake. And we'll leave the length as is. So you can see now what started as a tread has become a landing in the exact position where we need it. What remains is to climb from the landing another 18 risers in uh, the opposite direction which will bring us to uh, a total of 21 feet. We'll stop here and start again with uh, stair number three.